What's going on, believers? Guys, crypto market had a big dip yesterday, and I'm here to tell you why. And guess what it is? You're not going to believe it. Russia, Russia, Russia. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. All right, guys, quick look at the crypto market. Bitcoin in the last hour is up 1.4% because America's here to save everybody. But over the course of since late yesterday, we started to see this massive cascade down. Bitcoin lost 10% of its value. Ethereum lost 12%. Uh, Binance, 11%. You go down this list and you're going to see that it was just a bloodbath. It was a one-day bloodbath. And what's going on? Well, there's two things that are going on. One of them doesn't matter, but... Uh, I, I think you're going to, if you've uh, dealt with me for any length of time, you're going to know what the real take is on this. First up, uh, the United States and Ukraine are uh, having talks on the Ukraine crisis. Now, here's the thing. Russia feels like Ukraine is its sovereign possession and they are prepared to take it back. Now, this is going to lead to what could potentially be a large scale invasion of Russia into the Ukraine, and a lot of experts are predicting it to happen in the next two weeks. That's got the global market scared, so you're starting to see some global sell-off on uh, the stock exchanges all across the world. Uh, that is probably not going to end very well if it continues to go this way. Now, the other thing that happened, which caused it to leak a little bit harder in the crypto market, was... At the same time, Russia proposes a ban on use of mining and cryptocurrency. Now, when uh, when there was a fleeing of China, when China did its crackdown, a lot of crypto mining went into the Ukraine because it was a great place for people to go. They could um, do it without having to worry about China. Well, guess what? Now you've got uh, Russia, who does not want cryptocurrency, talking about moving on the Ukraine. So you're looking at another global hash rate problem. In August, Russia accounted for 11.2% of the global hash rate, crypto jargon for the amount of computing power being used by computers connected to the Bitcoin network. In order to conserve fossil fuels, Russia is looking to put a ban on cryptocurrency. It's pretty simple. Uh, it uses too much resource. I, I think if you've been with uh, anybody, any length of time, and you've watched Elon Musk, he's been very clear on what he thinks that Bitcoin, he is not accepting it on Tesla right now for that very reason. But let's get on to some good news here. In the last hour, there has been a lot of movement to the upside. Uh, right now, it's a great buy opportunity on Shiba, that's for sure. Uh, Mina Protocol, uh, I wouldn't move on that because it just had a nice big run. Uh, sandbox is at 368. If you are into the metaverse, man, this is an opportunity to make a play. Also up here was ICP made a quick move. Ave, uh, Gala, uh, is having a nice run back. It's down 27%, guys. It's going to pick that 27% up in a short period of time. Um, I got a feeling, uh, and Zcash, uh, it looks like down 22%. Uh, that's, there's a lot of opportunity right here on some of these things that are down. Uh, Polygon Network um, has a nice dip on it. Decentraland has, uh, I'm not really sure I like that one, but uh, there's a lot going on in the market. So it's going to be frustrating for a few days. And remember, today is one of those days where America wakes up and shorts have to cash in. And we're going to see how that plays out. So the market might be pretty rough today, even though it looks like America has woken up and started to do some buyback. I'm not sure that's going to last or be sustained when the big wigs open up the uh, stock exchange markets and the big time investors start looking. I think this is the day when we probably lose to the shorts. If we don't, it'll be a nice run, but we got the end of the month next Friday, so we're still going to see some down, and it's still January, uh, and we still haven't seen any tax money start to hit people's accounts, so uh, we're going to be in that holding pattern, and what happens when you're in a holding pattern in the cryptocurrency market? You're due for a dip, so there's probably going to be some more dip on this dip as this dip dips a little bit further. Moving on. All right, guys, that's what we're dealing with today. We're dealing with what's going on between Russia, the Ukraine, we're going, uh, what's going on with Russia and cryptocurrency and 
that we're in the shorts day where these shorts are supposed to get wrecked today, but they may not. They might pull out a win. Uh, everything is down right now. They may have already, uh, on the, the people who have shorted, they may have already picked up a big win. They may have already cashed out. That might be why we're seeing this green right now and this buyback. So uh, Friday shorts might already be over and we might be uh, in for some, not necessarily smooth sailing, but decent sailing for the next couple of days until we get to the next Friday uh, and end of the month. Because remember, uh, this next Friday is going to be the big short day of the month. And it's going to be two days away from when the alleged invasion of the Ukraine by Russia happens. And if that happens, then all bets are off. Uh, global markets everywhere are probably going to capsize. People are going to take their profit. People are going to take their money. People are going to be real nervous for a little while. So um, that's all I got right now. Uh, but remember this, this is not financial advice. And I'm always right. I'm looking for the good life, good life. Sitting on top of the world. I want to be shining like